Hello, today I am going to explain about how the TCP IP communication happens between the client and server. So here is a problem that we need to understand and write a program for this. So the problem states like this, write a client server program to make the client send a file name and make the server send back the contents of the requested file if present. So that means the client, uh, the client has to send the file name and it makes the server to send back the contents of the so given file if it, it is present. Now before proceeding to further, we will know about the client server first. So what is a client and what is server? So client is a system which requests for the service from the server and server is a system which provides a service to a requested request made by the client. Now according to the question mentioned in the problem statement we need to run the server first. So next the server will request for the file name and the file name is entered. So in, in our program so file name is entered at the server side then run the client so after you run the client so we need to enter the uh, server address after the server address is entered so the server address is 127.0.0.1 so it is passed to the server and now the connection is established so after the connection is established the read the server reads the contents of the file which is given and after reading the contents of the file it sends the contents of the file to the client. Now how this client server program works? So from the server side we need a server name and the server name is represented with the IP address. So the IP address which you gave 127.0.0.1 is the host IP address so which represents the server and the port number which is common to both the sites is given. So the client requests the server. After the request of the server there is a connection established and the interaction is made. So here in this example, it is a simple example which we are trying to understand. So we have, we have given the port number as 5000 on the server side and a port number as 5000 on the client side. So the data input stream in is a reference that is being created. So again data input stream out this uh, uh, data output stream out is the reference that is we have created and the server socket server is the reference and the socket is a reference we have created and the server side similarly on the client side we have data input stream in data output stream out and the server socket is created so socket is the socket has on both the sides so here from the client we are creating the reference socket and we have created using a new object socket that is the class name socket. We are passing the host and the port number. Host is the IP address and port is the port number which is stored on the both the sides. Here the server is a new reference that is created and the port number is given so both the sides it's the same port number now we the socket uh, accept is made so the socket is a reference we created and with the socket server we accept the connection so it is on the server side now we have created in is a reference for the data input stream on the client side 
and out is a reference using data input or data output stream that is created on the client side again it is the same in is a new reference that is created that is a data input stream on the server side and out is a new reference that you have created on the data output stream on the server side now here we get the input stream now see here we can look here we use out reference and we call the function which is present in the data input stream so this is the built-in function so here we write the number now using this stream using the in reference from the server we read that information again here using this out data output stream that is the out reference We'll write. We'll try to write the double, which is the number, and which is on the server, which is the output stream, and it is read by the client. Okay. So let's in the next video we'll try to understand the our lab cycle program.